It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And coming up, it'll be no holds barred between AFC South rivals. It's the Indianapolis Colts and the Jacksonville Jaguars. All that and more coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So here come the Jaguars to take over for the first time behind Trevor Lawrence, their quarterback in season number four. Last year was a bit of a mixed bag for Lawrence as he started off looking like a budding superstar. But then he suffered an ankle injury and was a shell of himself the rest of the way. His team needs him to stay healthy if they plan on maximizing their full potential. And if that ends up being the case, they'll have a good shot to win a lot of games here in 2024. And yeah, that's not the start that he was looking for as he's going to be met and dropped behind the line. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. He'll you know, get this out to the flat for ETN. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. On play action, Lawrence. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Great vision there by Lawrence as he scrambles for a first down. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. From the gun, it's Lawrence. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Now Lawrence to throw. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. If they didn't have that penalty a moment ago, it'd be a first down. Still a nice 13-yard pickup. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys because it's a quick play, and you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch, and then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. Lawrence. It'll be a gain of five, and this will wind up being a third and three. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. and really gets them amped up as they go forward. They'll run with ETN. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. A solid run and maybe then some by ETN. And he's become one of the league's best playmakers over these last couple of seasons, totaling over 1,400 yards from scrimmage in each of the last two campaigns. Now Lawrence. 
He's got his big tight end, Farrell, complete. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. A 14-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Jaguar linemen might have moved. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. A give to ETN running right, dancing away at the 30. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So that flag obviously takes away the good yardage that they had on the play. And talk about a momentum shift because we can visibly see this celebration shifting from one side of the field to the other as soon as everyone saw the flag. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Another completion right there. And again, Charles, good time in the pocket. That offensive line on this opening drive been really solid they've been more than solid they've really tamped down the pass rush and kept him safe in the pocket able to look around find his target and deliver he's got to make sure he tells the offensive line in the huddle thanks fellas let's keep it going and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight second and two nothing fancy on first down but a very consistent type of a play hit that slant a lot of people call it an extension of the running game and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And he'll get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Travis Etienne, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Jaguars get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Right off the bat, they start with a very solid, methodical 10-play drive. And you know me. I tend to look at things from the defensive side. They're coming off the field gassed right away. We're in the first drive of the game. So it's not just what happened, but think of the emotion you carry into a game. Then double it with getting a 10-play drive put on you and points scored. They're pretty tired right now. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now a 7-0 game. A 10-play drive that time, and it was capped off by a Travis Etienne touchdown run. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Colts heading out for the first time behind their 22-year-old quarterback in his second season now in the NFL, Anthony Richardson. And we're talking about an uber-talented young quarterback. Finally healthy after suffering a setback a season ago. Obviously, you'd love to have him on the field, but the time away may have been a blessing in disguise in terms of long-term development. And if you ask anyone around the Indianapolis camp, Make no mistake about it. They have locked the expectations of this young man, and he is a big, big player in the Colts' future. Well, that's not the way you want to start. A first pass attempt and a first drop all in one. Well, you've got plenty of time to make up for it, but obviously not the way you want to get things started. you got to shake that off and get going. Richardson looking to throw. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. Now inside the 25, Michael Pittman, touchdown Indianapolis. Michael Pittman, 68 yards. And the Colts are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. The Charles here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. 
Extra point by Gay is up and good. And we are tied at seven. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And they will ring them down a couple yards shy of the 30. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. They'll step off the five yards. Yeah, partner, you know, defensive end, he wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that one. Looking to throw, Lawrence. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one close quickly and helped force the incompletion. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. Now Lawrence. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. So on fourth down, here's Logan Cook to punt for Jacksonville. The deep to return is Josh Downs. And he'll get this away into the humid Florida sky. It'll be a 44-yard punt, six on the return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and ten. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And the ball is knocked out, and the Jags grab it. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but... I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. On first and 10, it's ETN. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. From the 38 now, here's second and five. Here's Lawrence. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? 
you make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You've got to cash in and get some points. From the shotgun, Lawrence. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. The Colts getting another possession here on offense. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. Now an option play on second down. And this is going to be a Colts first down as he'll take this forward to the 27. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it. Most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes in the run game, you can make the argument that quickness beats size. And how about the example right here? Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. From the shotgun, Richardson. Out of his hands quickly to Pittman. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. This one completes Alec Pierce. And he's brought down. 11 more on that one and another first down. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable game. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. And Richardson back to throw it. A short one there, caught by Granson. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. Richardson looking to throw this. And this is incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field has popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Again, it's Richardson. He's got his target. That's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That third down conversion, good for 23. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Richardson off the play fake. Now that's into the hands of Mo Alley Cox, the tight end. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Now second and five. 
Here Richardson yet again. Throw taken in by Taylor, left side. And the Colts are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. These two teams all tied after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Colts in possession as they go to work on a first and goal. Here's Richardson to throw. Rolling to his left. And fights it. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Anthony Richardson, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Colts have taken the lead. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Gay is on for the point after. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was Anthony Richardson who took it into the end zone to finish things off. Sanchez now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. Out comes the Jaguar offense now as they get set to take over. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. From the 41, here's a second and seven. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So they take the flag and the yardage that comes with it. Second and two now. The penalty leaves them in pretty good shape. Lawrence now off the bootleg. Got his man. It's the tight end Strange with it. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, normally you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They run the option left with Lawrence. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Well, that one hurts. That wipes away what would have been a big play. But you and I both know coaches aren't real big on silver linings. But at least that play call was a successful one. Now the focus offensively, that goes to overcoming the penalty and making all that yardage back again. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Here's Lawrence to throw. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down.
And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and 15. Lawrence will throw. And that will be incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught, they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. A cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Well, the Colts offense and receiver Michael Pittman getting set for their next possession. And it may be time for this defense to start throwing a second defender his way because whatever they've done, it has not worked in this first half. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. Now it's Richardson. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. The toss here completed to Pittman. And they will rally and stop him short of the first down. They get him to the ground at the 26. They'll give him four yards there. And it'll be fourth down. What hallmark of good defenses? It's understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Taken from just outside the 30. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And the Jaguars go on offense first down and 10. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Another toad for ETN. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. They go play action now. Lawrence. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's Logan Cook now to punt this one away. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Colts are going to take over, albeit deep in their own territory. Now Richardson. Hits his target to tight end Mo Alley Cox. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and one now from the 21. They'll try the left side with Taylor. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. They had three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. 
But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Richardson lets one go downfield for Pierce. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Alec Pierce, 81 yards. And the Colts have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it pay off. Extra point by Gay is up and good, and it's now 21-7. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it was capped off by a touchdown catch from Alec Pierce. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Jacksonville back on offense and ready to take over. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well... I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. From the 31, here's second down and seven. A shotgun snap and again the ETN. And he'll push forward for a couple to the 34. The completion on first didn't get much, and now the run on second doesn't get a whole lot either. Well, if you're a good play caller, you've already looked ahead and anticipated this type of situation. Already down in his play sheet, trying to dial up a big third down play. Now Lawrence. He'll get this into the hands of the wideout from LSU. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down. And he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle, but couldn't spring himself free. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Colts offense and Anthony Richardson ready for this next possession. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And the Jags grab it. And they'll have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16-yard line. So really a nightmare of a first half for him, Charles. His second lost fumble already. And when they hand us a stat sheet, Brandon, and we see two lost fumbles, we usually think quarterback or running back, don't we? It's not often you see guys on the perimeter lose the ball like that. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. They've got the ball in a great spot here, already inside the red zone following that fumble recovery. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Following the fumble recovery, Lawrence. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. The escapability in evidence there is that one. Good for 15 and a first. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. Bigsby. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. 
From back at the four, here's second and goal. Now they bring a receiver in motion right. And it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Gabriel Davis from four yards out. And the Jaguars have cut it back within a score. Had the option there, read it perfectly, and an easy little touchdown toss. And it has to be a sharp throw, too, because of where they are on the field. The extra traffic, things are condensed near the goal line. Good route by the receiver as well. Extra point attempt to follow here. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Gabriel Davis. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And able to get this out to the 25. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Richardson looking to throw. Blitz coming and down he goes. Brought down by Trayvon Walker on the pass rush. Well, that's what they have to do more of defensively. Not just getting sacks, but they have to keep getting in his face. Not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. The Colts on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and 15. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And yeah, they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. Impressive individual effort there. No one was going to stop him around the edge. Yeah, no doubt about it. And that's why if you play in a 4-3 base and you're a defensive end, that's why you get the big bucks. They count on you to do everything. Defend the run and, of course, get to the quarterback. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Richardson, he'll get this one to Pittman. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Richardson shotgun on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 40. Well, hang on here a second. Looks like a Jaguar in some obvious discomfort from that last play. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break.
Richardson working from the gun. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Richardson. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Operating from the gun, Richardson lets one go downfield for Pierce. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, he's been the guy already over 100 yards here in the first half. Could have had a lot more if he would have been able to haul that one out. Yeah, in fact, our statistician Marvin was already handing me a piece of paper with that yardage totaled on it. He thought that catch was going to happen just as you and I did as well. And Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. The Jaguars ready to go on offense for the final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. ETN up the middle. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we come to halftime here with the visiting Colts taking the lead to the locker room as we now go downstate to Orlando and check in with Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Colts got a strong first half from their quarterback, Anthony Richardson. He's over 300 yards passing already as he's looking to possibly put his name in the record book. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Second half, ready to get underway. The Colts with a lead, and they will receive the football. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Colts' offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. After the sack, here's second and 11. From the shotgun, Richardson. He'll find a man over the middle. It's Pittman. And they work this well up field across the 45. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them, and these guys have been taking advantage so far.
Back to throw. Here's Richardson. That one finds Pierce right side. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. Little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. A give for Taylor running right side. And he winds up getting this all the way down to the Jags 15. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. A tough run gets him just inside the 10 to the 9, but no further. Six yards there on the keeper. It's second down. Now that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained, and in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. The quick slant caught. And the Colts are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. Taylor. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Second and goal from the one. On the ground with a tight end, and he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Jelani Woods. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Colts take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Sanchez now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Here comes the Jags offense now. Time for their first possession of half number two. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a free possession game. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So they'll accept that penalty and that'll of course move the football up the field. So after the penalty, now they need just a yard on second down. And they'll go again with ETN. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Straight ahead, ETN. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. 48 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. 
I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. But they went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. On oh, first and ten, it's Bigsby. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. It'll be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. From the 46, here's the second and five. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Well, how many times do we say in this game is speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. A gain of three, second down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. And they'll come up second and seven. A give, running right, ETN. Runs over it. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. And now they'll throw it with Lawrence. Quick slant caught by Kirk. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 12-yard line. They only needed one yard on third down. They get 10 instead by going to the air. How about a nod to the sequence of plays they're putting together here? This has been death by a 1,000 paper cuts on this drive. But this is one of their best plays yet. And they're able to move it down into the red zone. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. He'll find E.T. in out of the backfield. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. A handoff for ETN, and he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. Now Lawrence to throw. Touchdown! Take Bigsby, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Jags are back within a score. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and gets them right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we have put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better term, a prove-it drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go.
No going for two. They'll kick the point after. He's got it, and they're back within a touchdown at 28-21. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it results in a touchdown for Jacksonville. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The visitors offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart and that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. And he takes this up to the 40 yard line before being corralled. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13 yard run. Remember, Brandon, he ran for a touchdown earlier, so his decision to go ahead and tuck it and go again turned out to be a wise one. And the decision is what is important here. He has made some good decisions on when to tuck it and go. Richardson looking to throw this. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Had to do a double take on that one, Brandon, because so far in this game, we haven't seen many of his passes fall incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. On the option to give to Taylor here. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hookup again on third down to keep this drive alive. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Delivers another one to Pierce. Yeah, he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. From the 44-yard line, here's second down and eight. There, Richardson back to throw it. Complete to Taylor on the slam. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 30. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Jacksonville. It's the Colts. They've got control of the football. They also have the lead as we start the fourth. Play action. Now Richardson. And yeah, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Now a second and 10. Here's Richardson to throw. Connecting over the middle of downs. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. They go play action with Richardson. That is caught. And he is going to have a Colts first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Now that's a big pickup right there. And so often we focus on how the quarterback's faking on play action. How about everyone being in on the deal and picking it up? Second, third levels. You can see them trying to recover. They bit. Worked out offensively. 
Richardson off the play fake. Hits his target, the tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Richardson. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. They'll wind up getting just a yard at its second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. From the gun, it's Taylor. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. The Colts on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This will be third and 15. Richardson to throw off play action. Oh, he's got his tight end, Mo Alley Cox, complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Got a man, it's Pittman, and he holds it in for the Colts' touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Colts have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, that's just how they drew it up, C.D. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it was capped off on the touchdown catch by Michael Pittman. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Jaguars offense and Travis Etienne set to take over once again. And it's hard to believe you could run the ball a whole lot better than he has. The vision, the cutback ability, the acceleration, it's all been on display throughout. Throwing quickly, this is caught by Kirk. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, as a lineman, they are trained. You've got to stay close to home. If you're more than a yard downfield, they're going to toss that flag, and they did there. Lawrence. And Thomas has it. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You've got the first one for the second one to even matter. Second down and three. Here's Lawrence to throw. A short throw to Ingram. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Lawrence will throw. That's complete to Davis. 
So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. It's a throw again is Lawrence. A short throw to Ingram. And he's dropped just before the line to game. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. On third down, here's ETN, and he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. 80 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Now Lawrence. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game but it falls down to the ground incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Back to the ground with ETN. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Here we go. Got to have it. Lawrence pass taken in by his big tight end. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. ETN. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Good work there, holding him out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? Second and goal from the one. Now Lawrence. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguar. Christian Kirk on the receiving end of that touchdown pass from Trevor Lawrence. And the Jaguars have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere seeing that play. Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away.
After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The visitors' offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Trying to get a big strike right there and hopefully tie this game up to the late going. But the coverage was there, and this winds up incomplete. Second and ten. Now Richardson. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Charles, he's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectations. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And, of course, the guy throwing them, he's a big-time player himself. They brought it from start to finish and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on to punt for Indianapolis. This is taken at the 15. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. So here now Lawrence and the Jaguars down by eight. A minute 45 to play. They need a touchdown and of course the two-point conversion as well. Throwing now, Lawrence. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. They'll try again here, second and 10. Here's Lawrence. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. Back to throw. Lawrence. And that's complete to Davis. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Obviously a big first down right there. Yeah, they still got to hustle. They got to get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. But I don't think necessarily you need to spike it. But they've got to continue to move quickly. Just the one timeout remaining as they try to navigate this two-minute drill. First and ten. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It didn't check off every box, 
but the most important one. Got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. It may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. Here's second and a yard. Lawrence, a short throw to Ingram. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And remember, field goal does them no good in this situation. You got to think they should be taking some shots for the end zone soon. Here's first down. He'll look to throw. Pass caught. It's Davis on the crossing route. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. No timeouts remaining. Cannot take a sack here. First and 10. Back to throw. throw is going to be incomplete and let's face it this defense has had its share of struggles all game long and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion another try from the 19 second and 10 he's back to throw Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. How about the call to come with the blitz there in this situation? And some of those calls happen just because of what they do on offense. So when they send out a number of people in the pattern, sometimes they just make a change on defense. Say, okay, we'll come after you instead. And that's exactly what they did. They'll look to throw. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with a football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number. Can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. Down to an egos Richardson, and that should finish off this victory. So it's a win here for the Colts, and it was thanks in large part to the play of their second-year quarterback. Yeah, he was definitely the X factor. He had three touchdown passes, ran for another, and really had this defense grasping for straws throughout much of this ball game. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we sign off from Jacksonville.